time frame options this week, next week, this month, next month, today, and tomorrow. You can ask a question like, Alexa, ask my town hall, what is the, what is the poetry workshop event? Poetry workshop is described as a meeting to learn better ways to write poetry. It's great for beginners or expert writers. And, Alexa, ask my town hall, what's happening next week? Alexa, ask my town hall, what is happening next week? Unity celebration is occurring from April 4th to April 6th, and Friends of the Library meeting is occurring on April 3rd, and Borough Council meeting is occurring on April 4th, and Bulk Trash Collection is occurring on April 5th, and Environmental Commission meeting is occurring on April 5th, and Redevelopment Agency meeting is occurring on April 6th, and Afternoon at the Movies is occurring on April 7th. Alexa, ask my town hall, who is Troop 58? Troop 58 is the best Boy Scout troop, located in Ocean Point, New Jersey. located in town hall, but people who have Alexa at home could also use it, correct? Yeah, so right now the way that it's configured, um, it's, it's hooked up to a single account. It's kind of in a, a prototype state right now. So it's only available for this one account that I set up as, as an Oceanport 258 account. Um, you can, we could publish it so it, it would have to be certified by Amazon uh, so that it could be used by anybody anywhere at that point. And how did 258 in Oceanport get hooked up with Highland Park? And not Oceanport. Well, um, I had proposed some challenges for our town to submit, and they, they didn't follow ah, through with it. Okay. But um, my wife had heard it on the radio, and I you know I just looked into it, and we looked at some of the challenges, and we thought that one was interesting. That's, cool. that's what I mean. Sister City. I like that. That's good. Are there? Can you ask variations of different questions? So if someone doesn't say it exactly as it's written in the code, will it still pick it up? It does. Yeah. So there's um, in the configuration, you kind of have to to set up uh, sample utter utterances, it's called. And these are basically things that you think people are going to say. So you have to put some variance in there as far as how you think it, you know, different people might say it differently. That's great. How easy is it for a municipality to add information as they want to go and build anything? So that's a great question. So right now, um, the, the events, in order to add it, you have to, it's kind of a two-step process. You have to update it in the database, um, which you can do through a web interface. But then you also need to uh, adjust the configuration for the Alexa skill itself. Um, we could we could have made it so that it was completely dynamic, but uh, what we had found in going through the way Alexa works is that it's not very accurate all the time in what it says, and you're much better off to have specific utterances listed there that you think people are going to say. So to add like a completely you know, <laughs> one-off question, like the True 58 one. Uh, you know, it's probably best to, to configure it um, within Alexa and then also add it to the database. What would be the pricing for deployment? So, if it's not, if it's within the free tier, um, I don't remember what the details are, but there's a certain amount of, you know, bandwidth and processing <coughs> and storage space that you can use for free. Um, if it's, if so it falls within there, then, then it wouldn't cost anything. The cost would be the device. You could set up your own Amazon account for free. Um, so this was all done basically for free. And I think their pricing model is pretty flexible as far as if you go beyond that, how much you need to use. Um, you know, I think they're pretty flexible as far as you know, what, the, what the cost is. Have you guys tried it anywhere? We, we, well, we have not tried it, but I, I will say that one of the things that led us to, to this idea is that some big cities will have a, a a, a person when you walk into City Hall will like, direct you to some place, but when you're a small borough like Highland Park, it's our deputy clerk is the one who answers all these questions. So she's in the back of the room and she's typing up, you know, uh, reports or she's putting something that's, that's and, and then someone will come up and say, ask her a question, and she'll come up, stop her work, and go and answer it. If she's not there, if she's in a meeting or something else, there we literally have people who walk into the town hall and just sort of look around and poke into any offices. We thought this might be a solution for that. 
and that's a great repository of some of those most common questions. So you said the, to answer the question of what if you don't say exactly that, posting up a board that one time of what are those most common questions and what to say is something that's very easy and would leave this person's uh, most arduous task very, very easy. Plus, you can integrate the answers that we get. What are the questions we document, presumably? What are the questions that we're getting? We can take that and we can use that, add it to our website, add it to our other you know, questions. We have uh, a better understanding of what people ask. Facebook Messenger thing, chatbot. Absolutely. So, if, he's coming up, yeah. <laughs> so if someone does say something that it's not recognized, does that at least record it so that you can look back and say, oh, here's a question we need to follow yeah, up on? Yeah, so, um, so it does. You, you can capture that. But there's also an app, which we didn't show you. There's, there's an app that, um, that you can, when, when it responds, you can, you can format the way it looks when it responds. So you can have an iPad sitting next to the device and if they ask a question and, and you know if it's a phone number or email address and maybe they didn't catch that, it could actually like display it right there. But yeah, you can you, it, it does capture all of the questions that are asked and you, know, you can use that information then. Okay, thanks guys. Judges, you're gonna get something to drink really quick and then meet me upstairs, okay? Bring your stuff uh, right outside to the left.